thank you very much, Andy, for that. Yeah, Andy referred to the helicopter movie, which was the helicopter darshan which Swami gave on his 50th birthday, that is 1975. Swami, in Prashant Nilayam, he went in the helicopter because the crowds were a lot, so everybody could see Swami as an orange speck in, in the sky. So, thank you very much. Uh, next, I will invite Venkatraman Uncle. So, Venkatraman Uncle and Raji Auntie hosted the Westford Center or Westford Sai group as it was before it became Shemsford Center for many, many years. Again, it's the same time frame, 1982 to 1996. For a brief period, it was in Girija and Girisha's house in, in uh, Westford as well. That was uh, Chemsford. Chemsford. Westford. That was in Westford. <coughs> I'll give it back at all. Minor details. <coughs> I pronounce it there. What the speed of tears and go on to this and sign up. Well, before I start, I want to give you a little background as to how we actually started the small budget center investment. I was in Ann Arbor with my sister in 1979, December. And she said, why don't you come with me for a soy budget in Windsor, Canada. Said, okay, what's this budget about? And she said, why don't you come and see for yourself. So I went there, my sister and his family. And uh, it was an all day event. Uh, really, uh, once I started uh, listening to the budgets and other discourses, I was really very happy that I was glad I made the trip. Then I visited India in January 1980 and uh, we wanted to visit Swami and we found out that Swami was actually in Whitefield. So we went to Whitefield, we stayed for three days, we had excellent darshan of Swami and Swami used to be very close, you know, he used to come very close to everybody and he was sitting <coughs> on the chair during the budgets. And that was one of the best experiences I ever had, having Darshan of Swami. So full of joy, I came to, uh, came back to Boston and called Indra. And uh, I, don't know, I don't know how I found the name, but I, I called and I asked Indra, can I come to the center with my family? She said, of course you should come. So we went there. And we met everybody, but Bill Jackson and the Marshall was not there on that day. John Lee and somebody else was there. <coughs> Sarojini was there. Malati, not, not long ago, Malati. And few other people were there. So we had a good time, and my son was saying on, you know, coming back, you know, auntie's pretty hard on day one. <laughs> I said, you know, she's a good tutor, you're going to love it. So, we went to uh, Boston Center every day. We had a good time. At the end of the year, in 1981, my father wasn't feeling well. So we, we went to India in January. It so happened that that was the day when Swami was there in Chennai for the opening ceremony of Sundra. So we had Darshan of Swami. It was great. And I asked Dr. Bhagavantam at the time, how do I talk to Swami? How do I get his blessings? Well, <coughs> with Swami, it's always one-on-one. -on -one. You know, nobody talks to Swami on your way. You pray. Swami is going to give a show. Swami is going to attend a children's show in Abbotsbury this evening. Why don't you come there? I said, okay, I'll go. So I went there. It's a huge crowd. So I went inside the Abbotsbury building there. And some volunteer came and said, why don't you be seated in the front? So you took me all the way into the auditorium. I don't even know who you are, but I was in the third row or fourth row. And Swami came there at the right time. He was talking to a few people and then he went to the church to see the children show. Suddenly he got up and came straight to me and asked me, an hour and tell me. Before I could say anything, Swami produced Vibhuti and put it on my hand and blessed me and went back. You know, that was a great experience for me. How in morning, the morning, Dr. 
was one of those things, one on one contact, and it was true. I was praying for him intensely, and then Swami said, I will take care of him. And incidentally, I found out that Sri Kant was in the children's show on that day. <laughs> anyway, so we came back, and we were attending uh, Boston Central, you know, systematic. Every weekend we used to go. But then, you know, we had a family of two, you know, two children, so you know, getting hard. We decided we'll start a small bhajan center in West Bank. So a few of us gathered, and then a friend of mine, Natarajan, he was really instrumental in many things. And then a year later, Srinivas and Prema joined us. We used to get bhajan training from, uh, uh, you know, Dalita Vishwana. She used to come very often from New York. She was an excellent singer. So we used to learn a lot of bhajan from him, from her. And uh, Dr. Bala of Chicago, you know, center. You, know, you guys all, all you guys have the bhajan books from Chicago center. He came to, he used to come once in a while because his sister was there. And we used to learn a lot of bhajans. So eventually, we were called the bhajan center. People, we used to go to Boston, but at the same time they knew that we are good bhajan singers. 1989, I think Sundar and his father came, made a big difference. We put a lot of emphasis on music. And we were, we are excellent singers, no question about that. And uh, I think at that time, we also started getting more children. We were about 7-8 children were coming. So we wanted to start a SSC program. We used to call Balagar, but then eventually it became a SSC program. And uh, teachers, I think Raji and uh, Sita Lakshmanan, they got trained. So they were training. I mean, they were actually coaching all the children. And uh, we also had, on, the, on that, if I remember, in 1993 or so, Gita Ram, you know, he lives in Bethesda, uh, she came to our house and gave a talk about Swami. And she said, this is the first time she's ever giving a public talk. And eventually, you know what happened. She was giving a talk in so many other places. And we also had very good, you know, some professional students, B. Um, Kumar, Sai Subramaniam, and Madhav Sriman. Madhav, so he went to India, and he had an interview with Swami along with his family. He told Swami before he left, that Swami, I'm going to Respert Sai Center for Bhajans. He said, I know it, I know it. So we were very thrilled, you know, so Swami knows what's going on there. You better be careful, you know, we get about your discipline and every other details. And uh, we had uh, several dignitaries who gave a talk in Respert to name a few. Srinivas Raghavan, who was responsible for Sanatana Sarvi, he gave a great talk. Dr. Leonardo Gada of Prashanti Council, he also gave a great talk. And Mani Bhashya, she taught us bhajans, not bhajans, and Sundar corrected me, that was the music Sangeet learned from Swami, Swami's compositions. We learned, right? Yeah, back in 1940s. And uh, we learned it, and that we actually, uh, you know, performed it, that uh, all these bhajans in, uh, in a retreat. Well, one thing I forgot to tell you was, in 1980, I also attended a summer retreat, and during the summer retreat, the keynote speaker, I don't know if John remembers, Dr. Hisla was the keynote speaker, and he gave a talk on Swami, and you know, that was one of the inspiring talks I ever heard. Well, anyway, so we had everything going on, you know, in terms of self-care, uh, budget groups, and sort of study circle and everything. Service was the most important thing, and uh, like uh, Sundar said, the service at transitional, you know, the local transitional center was started in 1995. Right? So, you know, that was a level of opportunity to all of us to provide dinner for the needy people two times every Sunday. That was that very good. So, Westwood Science Center was then officially formed in 1996 under the auspices of Satisai Organization of the United States. Dr. Coupon Sr., Chandra's father, Swamasam Coupon, was really instrumental in getting it done, and Dr. Shah came to our house, you know, on that occasion. So, best, it became an, in an official West Food Soil Center, and then uh, in 1999, we West Food moved to uh, Srinivasan's house. It was called Bilalika Soil Center. 
And you know, as you know, Srinivasan is very disciplined. He developed a framework for instituting discipline, instilling discipline, budget practices, and so many other things. And he inspired a lot of youngsters, you know, young members. So we had everything going on there. And then uh, from Villarikala in 2012, he moved to Chamsur Sai Center, the church. And today, you know, we have great members now, not only the uh, not only the office bearers, but the members and the teachers. I have to say, especially teachers, because they are so committed to instilling all core values, getting the necessary education for the children, getting them involved in service, getting them involved in every other act, to the budgets. You know, we have once a month budget for the children. It's amazing. So, you know, when I think back on how we started as a small budget center in Westford and it's what it is today, it's this incredible progress. What can I say? It's all Swami's blessings. I just want to say one more thing before I finish with this uh, talk. Suppose we five minutes. The fundamental objective for the organization, as Swami said, most important is to awaken in man the divinity inherent in him by propagating through practice and examples the basic principles of love, truth, right action, peace, and non-violence. We must all develop those ideas. Sign on.